This is a challenge idea that I had in mind for a while, but credits to Tuber for uh, making a video on it first and laying the groundwork for what the challenge is about. So essentially, the goal here is to see how long can I survive on Scrapyard while not dropping any towers and using only powers. But in order to actually make this challenging and require some strategy, we have to have a monkey money cap to limit how much I can spam powers, and I've decided on 10,000 monkey money. Therefore, the challenge basically ends once I drop to 480k monkey money on this mod account. And all the powers that I intend to use for this challenge, I have, uh, well, no more of, so... I'll just go over the five that are actually needed for this challenge. Super Monkey Storm, Time Stop, White Hot Spikes, Glue, and Mob Mine Trap. Don't worry about the rest, so just to start myself off, I'll just buy a good amount of each one. This is, you know, just so I don't have to pull up the power menu every single time I need to buy, like, one of something. So we'll start with just this amount spent. And also, why are we picking Scrapyard? Well, it's because of the Crusher. It is the, well, one of the few maps that have a prop on the field, object on the field, that actually allows you to do damage. Other one being, I think, Dark Dungeons, but we, we don't do that for obvious reasons. Although maybe a statue only run with cash drops would be interesting. Maybe another time, though. But you saw, we used the uh, Crusher to... Uh, Pop a couple balloons, it saves us from having to, you know, drop some extra road spikes. And it is back up again, so let me just wait for, I guess, the uh, most dense time. Cool is actually pretty fast if you let every balloon leak. I think we might be able to get one for round three as well, right? Yep. Just in time for the blues. I will actually wait for blues and reds like that. Good enough for me. And also, not only is Scrapyard one of the maps that have something that allows you to do damage, it is also the longest map in the game, yes. For those who are out of the loop, but Logs is not longer than it. Scrapyard edges out by, like, just a hair. It's probably time to start dropping wood spikes now, right? Yeah, sure. Probably should have done it earlier, but it really doesn't matter when, as long as you don't lose all your lives. That's all that matters. And also, before I start the challenge, I did do some of the math on when which power is more, like, better to use compared to the other. So, for example, why am I using road spikes now when they only pop 20 balloons per spike? Whereas, at some point, wouldn't the Super Monkey Storm start being worth it? Because, uh, it can just clear out the entire map. And the answer to that is obviously yes, but round 8 is uh, still the time where road spikes are more efficient. Here's why. You get 5 road spikes every time you uh, spend 50 monkey money. So we're talking about you get 10 road spikes for every super monkey storm. Therefore, you can pop 200 balloons with road spikes for the price of one super monkey storm. So uh, the math ends up being if there's ever a round that has more than 200 balloons, RBE worth balloons, then... You gotta use the Super Monkey Storm. And that doesn't happen until round 18. Round 10 has uh, just a hair over 200, 204, but because we're using the Crusher, remember, we're going to end up saving a little bit more monkey money by using Road Spikes this round. So yeah, we're already out, so uh, might as well just buy like a nice fat stack to last us the next 10 rounds or so. Should also remember to use Hotkeys too for these powers. I believe it's Shift 1 for the Road Spike. Definitely not a Hotkey I remember off the top of my head considering how little I use powers. Also, it just occurred to me that I probably could have done this too. Glue traps to um, slow balloons down so that more gets into the crusher. I guess let me just do that now before it's like too late. It's 50 monkey money per glue, but so long as that saves me like 100 pops worth of, well, road spikes, then it ends up being worth it. And I think it, it, it does, it will be worth it because it can glue 300 balloons. So let's see, I wish there was a pop count checker for the, uh, for Scrapyard, but I'm gonna just do there, and I would assume that saved, like, that, at least that one saved me, uh, 15 to 20 RBE with the road spikes. It might be too late, but I'm also thinking it might be worth it to drop, like, a glue at the front of the track so that it stalls around longer so that I can use maybe even two crushers in a round. But I don't know. I'm gonna use the crusher now. That was... Didn't get all the yellows. Got some greens and yellows. Probably could have waited for a better moment, though, like, they, there. Eh. <laughs> also, I did not pay attention. Whoops. Well, the monkey money spent on continues is going to count towards that 10k. And actually, hold on. Now that I think about it, the continue might not be the worst thing in the world, just because uh, I actually get back to Druid Live, so I could I could probably tank a couple more. Although, obviously, if I am still doing the math in my head, that's not as efficient as using, uh, you know, 100 monkey money with the road spikes. <laughs> actually, hold up. It's the exact same, except you have to redo the round, so... Uh, we lose the glue trap earlier. Uh, round 17 is the first run. I can't use the uh, Crusher, sadly. Those yellows are just too fast. Bip. And okay, I did mention that using uh, Super Monkey Storm is probably more efficient this round, but remember, as long as I get more than 40 balloons with the Crusher, 
it's still worth it to road spike. So I'm gonna try just that. Let me wait for the giant green club at the end. And that is definitely, uh, at least I hope, more than 40 RB. Thank goodness for road spike hotkeys. I'm running out already. By the way, I'm pretty sure 10,000 monkey money might not be enough to get me to like the round that I wanted. I was hoping to get to like maybe round 100 or so. But we're already down. I know I didn't use my Super Mario Storms yet, but sheesh, we already, we already spent 4k of that, and it's only 20 rounds through. A lot of which have to be spent on Road Spikes. If I'm looking at my handy-dandy sheet, the next round that I actually do need Super Mario Storm for is round 27 with 500 RB. No way I can Road Spike that one. Alright, here's another round. Oh, wait. Oh, god. I almost choked again, guys. Four life clutch. I really should just, like, create a giant spike pile, because these things never really expire. Why am I being so stingy and dropping growth spikes? Yeah. You know, I actually can't wait for the point where I can just, like, stop thinking about using growth spikes and just switch to using Super Monkey Storms full-time. And if I'm looking at this correctly, round 33 is the final round where uh, road spiking is better uh, than the alternative. So don't even hesitate this round. Just drop the Super Monkey Storm when all the balloons are out on the screen. And there she goes. Alright, and this round, uh, nice, got all the leads. You'd love to see it. This round, Super Monkey Storm, by the way, you didn't see the Super Monkey Storm animation for the very first Super Monkey Storm I used on 27, that's because I I had accessibility on 99%. I actually think after maybe the next couple uses, I will uh, turn it back down to uh, uh, 99. If you don't keep it 100, then the full, like, all the full map animations, like Homeland and Super Monkey Storm, completely disappear. Which I actually think is better for the viewer's eyes. I know people sometimes complain for good reason that, you know, it's too flashy. And boy, I'm actually glad I didn't buy, like, one extra road spike pile because that is 15 monkey money safe. Because we, again, don't need the spike for the rest of the game as long as I play this out carefully. Now, okay, I probably should have glued the very front of the track because I should have, what I should have done is I should have tried to stall at 34 as long as possible that every single balloon on the track was on before I used, like, Super Monkey Storm, but I now need to uh, stock up a glue traps because, uh, it's more worth it to use that over, like, a Time Stop plus Super Monkey Storm combo. For those who don't know, Time Stop, well, slows down balloons immensely, but it's the same cost as a glue trap, but glue trap can, can last multiple rounds, aside from one. I'm pretty sure that's the way to go, so Super Monkey Storm again, and this is the last round that I'll, uh, have that full map. It definitely feels a little bit, uh, uncanny now that I use it, and it just disappears with no animation, but... Guess you'll have to get used to that, guys, for the for the rest of this challenge. Also, it's still important to use the Crusher, because it not only does pop the balloons so that you can stall even longer, but in case the balloon is, like, of a high rank, it also stuns the balloon temporarily, too. You gotta keep that in mind. And for round 40, there is just one problem with the Super Monkey Storm. It doesn't damage through layers. So I would actually need two, two Super Monkey Storms to beat it. Therefore, it is much cheaper instead to just use a Moab Mine and call it a day. And then after the mob mine, just Super Monkey Storm, and uh, there it is. <laughs> Easy mode has been complete. Also, another thing I haven't mentioned with this challenge yet that's actually very important is that backing out of the round, like to to re to redo a round after you use powers, like you don't get the power back. Okay, this could be scary. I don't know if this round is long enough that I can get every single balloon to spawn, so I might actually have to uh, pull the time stop. And this is a waste because if I'm already dropping glue, then Double dipping on the stall is not a great use. Oh my god, I'm trolling! I was trying to wait for the leads. Now I have to lose 3 inch of monkey money. Ay ay ay. And I already used my time stop. Let me just say it's hard to play everything optimally when you only have like one, really one true attempt. This is why blank bordering is so much more difficult than, you know, normal borders. Friggin, I think I'll just glue again, even though it's really far back of the track. And I'll time stop. And let's see, I can I can probably afford to take a couple yellows, pinks, like that. And finally, we beat uh, 45. Man, this is where knowledge of every single round really comes in handy. So that, like, you can expect how long the round is, what's coming, and so when to use what, for example. Now, I know 40, it's an incredibly long round, so I'll just uh, glue with the start immediately. This round probably requires, like, I don't know about two Super Monkey Storms, but at minimum, a time stop. Let me just see. No, if I have to, if I have to use two time stops, then it's not worth it. I'm just gonna use two two super storms. You hate to have 48 be around where you gotta use two of them, but I mean, uh, I guess one thing I didn't keep into account was just how little the duration was on the time stop. Sure, it's a 10% like speed on your balloons, but it lasts so little that 
it doesn't really uh, extend your life too much, right? Luckily, uh, even though 49 is a long round, I think I can get away with it. Nice. And here's another round where we're gonna use uh, Super Mario Storm. I think you want to use it like the moment you, you it's available. All the balloons respond so that the traps retain as much of their RB as possible. So again, yep, it's all gone. We're out of Super Monkey Storm, so let's get some more damn. 51 rounds so far, and we used up 5,000 of our monkey money. Unfortunately, every single round after this requires more than, like, at least one Super Monkey Storm, so I don't think I can make it to 100 with only 10,000, it seems. Okay, this round, I think I can just tank all the pinks, right? Come on. All right. Good enough. One more SMS for 59. Now, mold mines don't one-shot BFB, so I have to use Super Monkey Storm for this layer. I think. Unless I want to do multiple mines, but nah. We'll do this to break it down to Moabs, and then we'll have to use a second to clean up. Actually, I don't know if that was worth it or not. Okay, round 62 is the thing of nightmares. What do I do? Do I... Do I time stop or do I double SMS? I can double SMS this. Or, you know what? No, no, let me just tank it. Wait. 22 lives. No, I missed... Five rainbows. Pain. I can't even use the Crusher either because it doesn't one-shot rainbow, so... Oof. Another round where I got a double SMS. This round is nice and easy. I think I can just uh, use one to catch them all. Okay, this sucks. I gotta use Super Bringy Storm for the... Uh, right before 65 spawned out. Unlucky. So that is two uh, Super Monkey Storms used this round. And I am once again out of Super Monkey Storm, so... Uh, we're down to our last quarter of our uh, Monkey Money. I think it is worth it if I use uh, two Mold Lines instead for a BFB instead of using a full-on Super Monkey Storm. If I'm doing the math properly, because, you know, again, it has 10 Pierce. 10 Pierce for each Mold Mine. Again, worth it until there's rounds with, like, multiple BFBs. Then it starts to get a little bit tricky. Round 70, just one. 71, somehow I can get away with no glue at all. Nice. As far as I'm aware, 74 is such a long round that I have no choice but to... Double, uh, yep. Double Super Monkey Storm. Alright, how many mold mines this round? I sheesh. Swear the amount of mold mines you want to use this round. I might as well just Super Monkey Storm, but... I'm gonna stick through it for at least a couple more rounds, I think. Oh my god, yeah, I, I have to use way too many mole mites for this run, this round. At least we just can get away with one and one here. And we're out, and we're down to, uh, oh, only 700 monkey money left. I think I'll just, you know what, let me just spend on this much. Seven super monkey storms. It's a shame that those five time stops are gonna be unused, because now that I realize how... <laughs> Weak they are. Also, this round, there's too many BFBs. I think it's time to transition to uh, only Super Monkey Storm. So, 77 is the first round where I gotta use three. Three of them. Oh, and it's definitely over this round yet, right? I don't think I I use mold mines anymore. And there's a BFB this round, so I gotta use three. Hold up. Maybe even four if the BFB doesn't spawn in time. Okay, it does. Good. I'll use one now. Actually, maybe two uh, SMS if that mold mine works. Nice. That'll do. That'll do. And there's 78 done. Alright, yep, I'm afraid this is the end, end of the line here. I don't have any more glue traps for 79. And I don't think two, yeah, two Super Monkey Storms do not, do not do it here. I think I'll just try my best though, so how about as many time stops as possible for the ending here. Another one. As many so that, uh, all the BFE spawn out. So now, and damn, I'm gonna be one, one Super Monkey Storm short for 79. Forget. $10,100 to beat 79. Now, just for fun, I think it would probably be interesting to see uh, how much more I need to get to run 100, so... Uh, real quick. This part here, I probably won't go too hardcore with the optimization. But we'll see how much monkey money I end up needing to spend for 100 rounds worth. So this round is... Uh, that's five super monkey storms just for one round. In fact, the 80s are actually pretty easy compared to, like, the 70s, because there's only Moabs. No, like... Other crap on the screen, like Serams, so uh, thanks game. I don't really have to think much to, to beat this. I'll glue this part though, and I will re-glue so that everything spawns out for 5083. And then I'll use two storms. 84, 1, 2, 3. 85, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 86, 1, 2, 3. 87, another five storms. Five more for 88, everybody. Five more for 88. 
The one time fortifieds are no problem. Only three for uh, 89. Hey, round 90, I can actually use my uh, final uh, mob mines. I think they uh, they work on DTs, right? I actually need two of them. But that's still cheaper than a Super Buggy Storm, so I take that. I'm taking that. Nice. Three more for 91. One, two, three, four, five for 92. If I need two mines to be DTs for 93, then uh, forget about it. One, two, three for 93. Guys, the 90s have never been this easy. <laughs> Again. Oh, crap, I'm up here for 95. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Time stop or nah? I think I'll time stop one set of purples here. Just one. Yep, I almost died. Thank goodness. <laughs> Hopefully every DT comes out for a 95. Otherwise, uh, I got a time stop. Yep, I got a time stop. I'm actually not sure if I needed to, but just to be safe. Five for round 96. Actually, it's six of them. I just noticed that it takes three uh, Super Monkey Storms now to uh, break down his EMG. For those who don't know, I think Super Monkey Storms do 2,000 damage each. One, two, three, four, five SMSs for uh, the ZMG layer 97, aka eight total. And six will be exactly enough for round 98. So I will restock, I think, two. Yeah, I need two for 99. And this should do it, guys. How much do I need for round 100? If I remember, uh, the bat has four, uh, 28k HP. So at minimum 14, if you need at the, the uh, ZMG layers and 20 of them, I'm guessing. Default hockey for Super Monkey Storm is shift zero. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, oh, I only needed uh, 10 of them to uh, beat the bad, what? Oh, did I forget about the balloon, big balloon sabotage, right. 10% less HP, it means uh, I actually only needed 17. Whoops. Well, either way, that's 100 rounds with only powers, and how much monkey money did I spend? Well, I think if we refund the Super Monkey Storm and the glue trap, no way. Then that gives us 69,900 monkey money, meaning I spent 20,100 for 100 rounds. In case you're curious about how much monkey money it took. Probably would be less if you optimized, but I tried.